This is not any better facility at all. It was being constructed under the emergency project initiative undertaken in second cycle schools nationwide by the late President Mills' administration. But the project in this school only got to the roofing level and was never completed as the contractor left the site since 2009. And when more students were enrolled in the school without new infrastructures, the school authorities were forced to turn their own completed structure into an accommodation facility. But following years of neglect, the uncompleted facility has deteriorated to a dangerous level with deep cracks and serious defects and at the verge of collapse. Here is the headmaster of the school, Solomon Yakubu. It was built in 2009, but the contractor did it to this level and has since left. So we had no option than to make our students occupy it. Then the, when the roof, as you have seen, caved in and then the, the beam got broken, we quickly ran to the disassembly to get the engineers to come and assess the building. So upon the assessment, were advised to move the children out immediately because the structure was a death trap. So we had no option than to move the students who occupied this house to the dining hall. The over 500 girls are now being housed in the school dining hall, which is also almost an uncompleted structure with no ceiling and just dirty crack walls, broken windows and hanging power cables. Inside the facility is heavily congested with no regards for COVID protocols. Chairs and tables have been moved out from the dining hall and kept in the open where the students' meals are now being served. The headmaster explained the situation put the lives of the students at risk. Yes, there are seven, that's the, the lunch. There are, are seven. The children will come and eat in the sun. Because that's the only option we have. Because they, sh they should have been served in the dormitory. But because we have put students there and they are now using it as a dormitory, we have no other place than to serve them outside. With our current enrollment, the dining hall is too small for us. Come to our aid. We need a dining hall, seriously. Because this way, it's not good for the children's health. Poor and inadequate infrastructure remains a major challenge in the Wulugu Senior High School, especially with the introduction of the Free Senior High School program. The school has the highest enrollment capacity in the region, yet lacks classroom blocks for teaching and learning. Students in this school take lessons in old and uncompleted structures. Meanwhile, about four major projects, which include the construction of new dormitory and classroom facilities, have all been abandoned. The headmaster is calling for the resumption and completion of these projects to ensure effective academic activities and for the sustenance of the free senior high school program. Seriously, is it because of lack of classrooms, the abandoned classrooms uh, projects, we have to use them under the circumstances. If we, if we don't use them, then the children cannot learn. We will not have place for them to sit down and learn. You saw how the classroom the, is not flawed, the uncompleted. For the classrooms, they are not very conducive for learning. And the few that we have, the few that we have, because they were built many years ago, they are very, they are not, uh, they are very short in height. If government and then uh, authorities that be would help hear our cry and raise these churches, I can say that Wulgo Secondary School will do single track and will have no problems. Ilyas Sutanko reporting.